Hello and uh, welcome back to part two of this uh, folio series I have started um, last week. Uh, there was a little um, thing I uh, saw in uh, Ruby and Pearl Exo Heather's uh, recording. She had made these small houses and uh, I just got this urge of needing to do them so uh, there wasn't any recording on part two during the weekend I uh, made houses so um, this was super cute to make and uh, I'm going to use them as a uh, talk spot in my blue little journal I made a few of these to play with but now I'm here and we are going to continue to make the folio. 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 Can't speak today either. <laughs> so um, when we parted last time, uh, these were brown. Now I have um, put paper on both sides of these and uh, sewn around the edges. So now it's time to decorate them and make that little uh, journal that will go in the middle. And this uh, is also sewn and will be a pocket in the front. And then we have this one that's going to be the flip. And this one will go down here. I had that blue girl, but I... Uh, thought that this was she was too big and the color was too sharp so I left her aside for uh, some other project so uh, these are old letters in Swedish so and I have a few uh, digits from Ruby and Pearl Exo so and these one are also from my farm photos that I have taken photocopies of. So the first we will do before we start decorating is to uh, put some linen in this uh, space between the different parts of the journal. So I have just uh, taken some rough 100% linen and these are going to go like this and give the spines a little strength and also a nice decoration. Old linen is uh, always beautiful. Just need to decide if I want the dark side or if I want the light side. Actually I think I will go with the dark. So let's uh, glue these in place. I need to clean this up. There are glue and paper on top of the bottle. And as always, I'm using book binding glue, so this won't move at all. It will stay put and rather break the paper if there would be something that will tear. It will be the paper not the textile or anything that is glued down with this glue that's a nice fe feeling to know that it will be nowhere near breaking I just realized I have three so we need to do another one
this is from an old blouse so that's a bit fragile so I can just rip it The linen is uh, not dyed in any colors, so they are shifting a bit when it's a natural linen. I like this feeling of torn linen. It's not so perfect. That's me, you know. Rough and not so perfect. That's Anneli. Anneli style. There were a few ladies that uh, said that when I uh, have made these houses, they could see right away that it was my house, <laughs> my my houses. It was Anneli style, so I had a good laugh at that. I didn't know there were something uh, named after me, <laughs> so. Um, I felt like a celebrity when they called it an Anneli style. And this is of course uh, optional, you don't need to put every, anything on top of that if you want. So um, this is the back and this is covered with paper so yet I don't think we need to do something. But I may might change my mind later. So that was uh, the three spines. So now let's um, see how we are going to decorate this. I'm thinking uh, just a simple belly band on this one so we can put some more stuff on it and then use this um, and glue it down as a pocket like this so we can put something in from the outside bend it a little bit so we get it a bit more straight So maybe some kind of thin lace. Or maybe some rough linen could be nice. Or why not both? Linen and lace. This is another type of linen. A little bit more rough. See if we can get this straight. I'm going to do a thread so we can cut after the thread. Sometimes I do it straight. And you 
to hold it up against the light so I can see where we have it. I think that could be cute. Doing the same on the other side. There was sewn with zigzag style and I don't like that. Sorry if I am out of frame, I just need to hold it against the light so I can cut it straight. Like so. And then I'm just going to put some glue on the edges so it won't rip and the threads will go anywhere. That's a nice way to do it if you don't want to sew. If you put a bit of glue and let that dry, it won't lose any threads on the side. Like that. And then we need a thin lace of some sort. That one maybe. It's really cute. I'm going to wrap it around the edges so I'm making it a little bit longer than necessary. And we are going to just do like this before we put it in place. So we have a belly band. check so it's where we want it. I think that will work. I will just go and uh, sew over the edges so we are totally sure that this will stay in place. But I will also do some pockets on the other ones so I can sew everything at once. So let's go to this part, this one. I do like this so I'm in frame. I think I want uh, this one maybe. Should we have the lace? Yes, that's better to have the lace here. And this one will be an extra flip like this. And also we will use this part as a top spot. 
So let's give this some distress ink so it won't be so white. So I'm gluing on uh, these edges like that. And then we will glue on this part. And put it in place. Checking so the paper is where we want it. So now we can tuck something in this part and use that as a tuck spot. Just holding this down so that glue can keep it in place. So I'm thinking a pocket and a belly band on that one. Let's see what we have. This could be perfect cute. Try to cut this straight. It will be a little bit big, but I think we can manage to keep these beautiful embroidered holes. cute. Maybe a nice little pocket. This might be a bit too wide on this part. I don't actually understand why I have put paper on both sides. This is uh, going to be glued down. Now I need to decide. OK, 
okay it's still there anyway so okay So I'm thinking the pocket will be from this side. So let's glue this down as the pocket. Pocket on the pocket. I think I will leave the holes, even if it will peek out a little bit, but I don't mind that. Can take off a little bit on this side. There will be a little more space to put things. So I think that's okay. And then I'm thringing a little belly band. This is also a really old lace, so this is uh, so nicely done. Shall we just uh, put it like that or should we have it smaller? I think I actually will leave it. I think that was cute. Cute, cute. And this one is so thin so we can do like the other one. We can glue it on the back. And all of this is, of course, optional. You can uh, decide if you want pockets, if you just want talk spots, or if you want both or nothing at all. You can maybe just clip it on with some clip. So that's uh, totally up to you how you want to do this. This is just an example of how you can do it. So this will go there. So long so I have a bit of a trouble to get it in place on this one I'm thinking I think this is too big on these ones yes can leave that for something else and this one is kind of perfect, so we can use that as a big pocket. <coughs> and I also have this one. I have it done in embroidery on that one.
maybe we'll go with this one on this page and then I'm thinking do I think belly band or do I make it as a talk spot I think I will go talk spot I think I will give it a bit of textile so it gets a bit more sturdy. It's double paper but why not? As we can do it, why not? Should we maybe use the same linen as on the So it can pick out. See how much this will. go with that then it will peek out on that side where it will be fragile <clears throat> then we will uh, cover the embroidery too so that will be secured That would also be sewed, so we put that aside. To dry. Okay, these are done, so we can put this away a little bit and make the pockets and talk spots on the little journal that we are going to do from these. So let's make the holes. So I think we need to do a little mark where we want them. So I'm thinking kind of we need to go inside the sewing. away so I can see what I want my hole. Mm. 
then I'm going to cut all of these so I will be back so you don't need to see me punch all of these all the, the holes is uh, cut in the journal part so uh, to give this a little bit more strength I have decided to put a couple of pieces with linen. I can't put any eyelets on these as uh, my machine won't reach so far. So instead I'm going to just put textile on both sides so it won't rip. And these won't be seen because the back of the journal will be glued down. This one that we made a little stronger, it will be glued down on this hole like this. But I want to secure this pieces with um, some textile. Cut off a little bit on the side. And the same on this one, cutting off a little piece so it won't go so so it peek out on this side. And then we are going to put down this piece that will be glued down like that that would be nice so let's do the same on the back let's put a piece of textile on that side too so it won't rip the paper make sure to glue around the holes so that the textile will protect it. This is piano paper, so it's really, really fragile, even if it's glued onto to this piece. Where are the holes? Like that. And there we go. Just going to make sure I'm straight on the right, right place. Yes. Gluing the edges down properly so it will make the purpose it's made for. Like that. So let's leave that to dry. So the eyelets are in place. Like so. And these are dried. Back and front. So let's continue with some uh, belly bands. And uh, maybe some decorations. I'm thinking maybe some kind of lace. It's 
Isn't that cute? I think we will go with that. I think I'm taking off two rows. There we go. Put it in the middle so we can put a lot of things in this belly band. Holding it in place for a few seconds so we are sure it will stay in place. old lace I'm thinking uh, something like this giving it some strength with some textile, I think. Try to not put uh, too much glue on the piece that are embossed. Then it gets soft and maybe fall together. Let's see what we can make from this. I'm thinking uh, maybe a tuck spot.
this will work. You can glue part of it down so it will be kind of a side pocket. Maybe on this side so we can have the opening that way. So I'm thinking some kind of strong paper to put behind it. So we can give it a bit of extra That's nice to begin with. Okay. I like this old house. Will work.
will go with textile on this one. And then we have the blue and the green and the back of the front. So this one will go for one. Then I actually think we will use the house. So let's see what we have all together so we have our pocket in the front we have our journal like that and House will go first and then we have this one and that one and we have this one and that one then we need one more on that page do like that one and then we have the house maybe on that page then we need one more thing to go on this page so let's see what we can bring this is embossed with the rose thinking maybe the part with the brown roses and then some lace or should we just take I think I want to actually use real lace instead should we use one of these 1800 piece from a pillowcase Maybe use it like that, kind of like a edge for a embossed card. I think I need to think about that. I think I have an idea, but I'm not sure. We have this one we can just clip on with all the blue colors and brown. Really like that. Maybe we can use that and then just take a little smaller belly band to keep that in place and then clip it on. Let's see what we can find. Maybe this one. That would be nice. 
we will uh, do some more decoration later on this is just the beginning the base then we will do more laces and uh, labels of course smaller decorations on these two we will start like this And this will go inside that one. That will be nice. <coughs> and then we will do something behind this house. On the back of this. So we get some more decorations on that too. Okay. I think we have a nice start on the journal piece. I think we will stop there for now. I will uh, sew these pieces for next time. So um, they are ready to be placed in the journal. No, I'm going to keep calling it journal, folio. And we also need to figure something out for the front of that journal. I think this will be kind of cute. It will fit everything at least <laughs> that's nice <laughs> okay guys uh, thank you for watching and uh, we will uh, continue tomorrow and uh, hopefully we will finish this then so um, thank you for watching and uh, until next time bye bye from sweden